I'm Eric Mattis, and it's good to be back with you again here at Jet City Music. And uh, I'm going to give you a lesson now in Piedmont Blues. The blues that I'm going to show you is what I call the Rolling E Blues. And the reason why it does is it's got this, it's got this rolling type of sound. Now the Piedmont Blues comes southeastern United States, and it's a style of blues that incorporates an alternating bass line. It has a ragtime type of texture. So that's what, that's what has that special sound. The other style of blues is the western style blues. It has a monotonic bass. Okay. We'll talk about that one later. Anyway, in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to play this last thing, the rolling E blues. We're going to start off simply. Okay, first of all, your alternating bass in this case. When we have an E chord, we're going to alternate the bass between the sixth and the fourth strings, getting E and E. I would recommend holding your little finger down as close to the top string as you can so that uh, your hand is in place the whole time. You don't have to think about it or hold it up. It won't be floating around. That's one of the things that can help you maintain the bass line. Okay, for the A, what we're going to do is we're going to play this little country blues A. Okay, that's, we're going to cover straight across here on the second fret and put the little finger here on the fifth fret. And we're going to alternate for this, for this bass, we're going to do a three note bass. It's going to go A, E, 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 which is five, four, six, four, five, four, six, four. It takes a little while to get used to it, but when you get it, you'll be happy you did. Okay, and then for the B seventh, what we're going to do is we're going to alternate between the B, the D sharp, and the F sharp, D sharp. So what you might have to do if you have slim fingers is move your second finger from fifth string to sixth string. string. If you're like me and you've got big old fat fingers and you can just put your finger down in the middle, I highly recommend trying that if you can get away with it. And that way you don't have to think about it. And if you sing, it's less to think about. So anyway, what you're going to do is alternate between 5-4 and 6-4, 5-4 and 6-4. Okay, so those are going to be your bass lines. Okay, so let's add some melody right away. We're going to take this in steps. The first thing we're going to do is just add a little bit to each chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to hammer on this major third here, this G sharp. That is the third string first fret for this E. So we're going to use an upstroke with our index finger. And at the same time, we execute that note we're going to begin our bass line like this. Do that four times. Now we're going to switch to A. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to get the fifth and the second string to sound together. So we're going to strike the fifth with our thumb, second with our index finger. We're going to pinch them and follow through with that second finger here on the first string immediately like this and then follow through on the four, six, four. And back to E, of course, twice. Okay, now on the B seventh, what we're gonna do is the bass line that I explained, but we're going to pinch the five and the two together, get the first string right after, just like we did on the A. So it's, and then alternate from six, four. Okay, so we're gonna, get, Come back to the A for one measure. So same technique. Hit the low E. Always hit the low E before you do, do a turnaround. And then we're, for our turnaround, what we're going to do is take the second and uh, the first and second fingers, slide them from the second and third frets respectively to the third and fourth, like this. Second and third strings and then down one fret at a time. Notice with my right hand, I'm getting working it like that and I'm going to continue with that same type of right hand technique but I'm going to add the bass note in here when I get to the E. Follow through on the first string, alternate the bass and then make the B seventh, strike the fifth, third and second together, follow through on the first and alternate to the fourth like this. Okay so let's look at what we've got so far for this rolling E blues.
In an upcoming lesson, we're going to add more to that blues.